Whoa! Yes, boys, yes, we are back, Aruyan. We're doing Iron Maiden, Seventh Son of a Seventh Son. Bloody hell, this is the first album reaction I've ever done. Well, I haven't done it yet, but as soon as I'll have done it, then it'll be done. And it'll be the first one ever, so... Bingo and Bendigo, mate. This will be edited, but I will chuck the full version on Patreon. Copyright is an issue on YouTube, and it's not worth fucking around with, so there you go. Let's just get straight into it and uh, see how we go, boys. Woo! Woo! <laughs> okay, let's go. Let's go. Seven deadly sins, seven ways yeah, I'm pretty sure win. I've heard this first song here, seven but it's a classic, man. Yeah, come on, dude. Come on, dude. Let's, where's the fucking volume, cut? Drumming man! The drumming's insane! I just fucking love the guitar here, man. That's just struggling, man. Ah, come on, boys. Yeah, come on. Yeah, yeah, right, yeah, right. Okay, Moonchild, first song done, there you go. Fuck me, that was just a classic. I have heard that before, but tell you what, that chorus was insane, just Moonchild. Like, fuck yes, man. That's all I gotta say about that. Not to mention the instrumental breakdown here with the fucking rhythm guitars just popping and galloping and the drum beat the entire time was just perfect, man. It was just a perfect gallop and I loved the rhythm guitars so much here, man. Holy fuck, perfect song to begin with, man. Let's see where the next one takes us. Infinite Dreams, mate!
like the monster. Hey, this is just. No. Yeah, come on. Man. was fucked man i really really enjoyed that that wasn't quite as good as moonchild moonchild to me was just a perfect iron maiden song but uh that fucking breakdown where the tempo just slowed completely to that drilling dun, 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 that fucking oh stop and start fucking groove there man i fucking love that man i absolutely adored that a lot of uh, parts to this song did go past me a tiny bit, but tell you what, when it brought it back to that slower tempo, it just killed it every single time. So that's like a four out of five for me. That song, four out of five. Now we've got Can I Play With Madness next. I'm pretty sure I've heard this one as well. Third track by Can I Play With Madness? Oh yeah, I've heard this too. Come on. Tell you what, I'm glad that song was only three and a half minutes long because the chorus did get a little repetitive, but it was still so fun. Like, every time it came back, I was like, yeah, I'm ready for another go at this. I'm ready for another rendition. Come on, Bruce. Spruce me up, mate, with those fucking cleans. <laughs> But no, seriously, I loved the tempo switch up in the middle of the beat change. I really thought that freshened up the groove in a really good way. And uh, bloody, the chorus really did kill it. So there you go. Yeah, four out of five. So let's see where the evil that men do take us, mate. Hopefully not down like an evil path because, you know, I'm a good Samaritan. <laughs> okay, boys, let's just get into it. The evil that men do. I had made it, man. Just gallant fucking generals, man. Shit, boys, that was just a classic again. The chorus on that thing just fucked me up. I mean, that was probably the catchiest chorus so far. You know, like, holy fuck, the notes he was reaching there just made it such a dynamic peak to the song, you know? A real fucking peak. Like a Mount Everest kind of peak. I mean, yeah, instrumentally with the gallop here, with the bass work, the drums, the rhythm guitars, the lead. I mean, it was all sick, but obviously it was all about the chorus here, man. I mean, <laughs> Whoa, okay, so let's just get into seventh son of a seventh son. <laughs> there's the 
Where's that gal up front? One note he held on to. That was just perfect. Come on. Yeah, come on, man. Perfect fucking tempo, man. What a perfect fucking groove. loved that last bit right there. Holy shit. This song is killing it so far. I have no idea where it's gonna go next. It's gonna be pretty fucking interesting though. Just those little licks there, man. Yeah, so the self-titled track here, man, uh, wow, like, that literally went for 10 minutes, and I felt like a lot of it was fairly unnecessary, there was, like, a whole minute of, sort of, I don't know, build-up, and then that, sort of, instrumental climaxing in the last three minutes was very good, very solid, you know, there's so many highlights in that last couple minutes, especially with guitars and, you know, whatever, and, you know, there was some real catchy bits with the chorus and bloody some of the vocal delivery here, but I do feel that this song for its length was lacking in some parts, but still a pretty fucking great song, a pretty fucking great self-titled track, and uh, an easy 4 out of 5, mate. Let's uh, chuck on the next one. Alright, the prophecy! <laughs> It's a bloody run in here, man. I was not expecting an acoustic outro, mate. I don't mind, though. Seems almost like they're trying to break up the soundscape here, the gallops that so many of uh, Iron Maiden songs find themselves enshrined in. I feel like Bruce Dickinson right now is just playing with my hair, just doing my nails. <laughs> yeah man, that was a 4 out of 5 yet again. Real chill, real cool, bloody tempo changes, bloody heaps of cool shit. Next song, let's go straight into it, run in boys! There you go. <laughs> Basis. 
killing it so far, man. Another fucking turbo push up man. The second tempo really stood out there to me anyway. I mean, tell you what, uh, it was just driving, man. Like, it was just completely driving. And, you know, some really nice little pockets with the uh, vocal delivery by Bruce there as well. Some real highlights in terms of uh, vocal delivery. So, pretty great song. Yet again, another bloody four out of five, boys. Just another one. Let's see where the last song takes us, boys. We're right near the end. Woo! Here we go. telling you man that is so english i don't know what the fuck that was about right at the end there but tell you what that was english sounding as fuck but uh that last song there only the chorus really just sort of jarred to my ears the chorus sort of felt like a you know twisted sister b-side or some shit so yeah, just to finish up here, pretty much every song on this album had highlights. Like, every song had really amazing standout solos or grooves or rhythm guitars or bass work. Especially in that last song as well. Like, the bass work was crackling like fucking bacon on a pan, man. And I loved that, especially. Just looking at Infinite Dreams again, that slower tempo there. Can I play with madness? The bloody chorus was so fun. And the chorus in The Evil That Men Can Do, that's going to be stuck in my head all week. Seventh Son of a Seventh Son. What an amazing centerpiece kind of bloody epic. You know, with a couple lows, but also they were purposeful and made the instrumental breakdown right at the end there all the more climactic. So I really enjoyed that as well. The Prophecy, I honestly can't remember too much about The Prophecy or The Clairvoyant. Looking back right now, that sort of went by in a blur, but this feels like a pan of gold and it's just about panned out, but there's still a tiny bit of shingle here and there. There's a tiny bit of, you know, quartz and like some black sand, some hermitite still in the mix, but nestled in between all of that are these fucking massive nuggets of gold which just stand out and just shine brilliantly against the sun. The sun being my ears in this fucking analogy, you get the point. I feel like the nuggets of gold just outshone the moments which were just sort of repetitive and that kind of thing because it was slightly repetitive being an Iron Maiden album. That's sort of what you expect, most especially with the bloody uh, gallops, the tempos, you know, the way the rhythm guitars lock in with the drum work and the drum beats, you know, that can be a bit repetitive, but nonetheless, like, they did switch it up enough and the tempos, the grooves themselves were solid enough to just stave off 
most boredom. So I would give this a fucking cheeky 4.5 out of 5. Hope you enjoyed the reaction, the review. I, um... I really did love this, you know, I thought that there was just so many highlights, there was just so many pockets with the vocals, with the fucking bass work, with the rhythm, the fucking guitar solos as well, they killed it, there's just so much energy, and the choruses were just so fun, so much of the time, like, can I play with madness, evil that men do, moonchild, infinite dreams, this thing was front loaded to hell, and I fucking adored it, so there you go. Love the shit out of this. I hope you enjoyed the reaction, etc. Just have a good one, and I'll catch you on the next one, man. Wow! Wow! Wow!